Today I'm going to show you how to activate your abs, your arms and your glutes. A lot of people say, what does that mean? Well, today I'm going to share all of those answers with you. Hi, I'm Shelley and welcome to Fabulous 50s. Today I'm going to explain a question that I get asked all the time and that is, what does it mean to hold the core in tight or to activate my arms? And if you're not activating your muscles as you work out, you may not be getting all the results that you deserve. And a big hello to all of my fabulous subscribers and especially the ones who asked me this question. You are fabulous. And if you're new to Fabulous 50s, click subscribe and ring that bell for more videos created for women over 50. Okay, I'm going to go through all the different body parts and show you how to activate them. And when I'm doing my workouts and I say hold your core in tight or, or make your arms strong, I'm going to show you how to tell the difference. So we'll start with the arms and when I say strong arms when you're doing a move like this, even if it's just arm circles, what I mean by strong arms is you hold them out tight and imagine if someone was pushing down on you. Like in kinesiology, you hold your arm strong so that nobody can push it down. This is a weak arm, so you just like that. That's having no resistance in your arm and someone could put, put your arm down very easily. And when you're holding it strong, you're holding all of your muscles tight. And you can feel that, right? So do that yourself, hold it strong and then loosen it like that. And then do an arm movement like this. So this is just a soft arm. You, you can feel that nothing's happening. But if you do the exact same movement with a strong arm, hold it strong, and you're going up and down, you can see the difference. You can feel the difference. And that's where you can be really losing out on the benefits of exercise. Doing this... That's, that's good because you're moving your body, but this is so much better because you're getting strong. And another way to think about it is to use your mind to visualize the muscle that you're trying to activate. So if I'm trying to activate my bicep muscle, I'm going to touch it and I'm going to think about the muscle. So when I'm doing a move like this and touching that muscle, I'm able to connect, oh, that's what I'm doing. I'm touching that muscle, I can feel it, I can see it. Even if you've got lots of coverage over your arm, which many of us do, you can still know that it's there. Okay, and then we'll do that move again with no activation. So you just go like that. And when you go like that, you're going to be able to tell the difference instantly. So doing this, there's no activation. You're moving your arm, but it's not strong. Do this now, touch it, and you'll know the difference. Okay? So if you're doing an arm workout and your, all of your muscles in your arm are activated, you get results. But this is just like you're not trying hard enough. Okay? And we need to try hard <laughs> to get results. And also with your tricep muscle, touch your muscle and then do this sort of a movement and you can feel it going in and out. So when we're working our muscles, we're contracting them in and out. And you can feel it and you can imagine it. And if you imagine your body without all the skin and you're just bone and muscle and then moving your arm like that, you can see that muscle going in and out, in and out. And that's what I encourage you to do when you're doing your workouts. Focus on it. You're going to get stronger a lot quicker if you do that. Okay, and now another big confusion is the abs. And this is our core. We want to keep this as strong as possible and as toned as possible. Again, even if you've got some belly fat, that's okay. We can work on that. But... Underneath that belly fat is this very important muscle and, and family of muscles. And when we pull those in tight, so do this with me, pull them in tight. It's like from here and you're pulling it in towards your belly button. You're still breathing because I can still talk, but I'm pulling them in. And then 
you can feel you're strong when you hit it, your tummy like this, okay? As opposed to just your tummy hanging out. It's a different feeling, okay? And when we pull out core in tight and everything in tight, you're going to notice a structure of your body. You, you stand up straighter and you feel more structured. So you can practice bringing your belly button in, bring it right in as far as you can. Imagine you're bringing it all the way in towards your spine. And that's what you do when you activate your belly, your, your abdominal muscles, you're pulling it in. So when you're doing a workout, you're pulling those muscles in and then you're doing the workout with those muscles pulled in. So if we're gonna bend over like this, we're going to hold our core, we're gonna suck it in and then do our movement. Or if we're going to do a movement like this, try this. So just have a loose belly and soft arms and soft legs and just do this, okay? Feel what that feels like. And now change it up, touch your belly, pull it in tight, all those muscles, imagine your muscles. Even if you can't see them, <laughs> that's okay. Pull them in and then bring your, as you're pulling them in, bring your leg up. So it's kind of like you're bringing your leg up with your abdominal muscles. Okay, you're standing up straight, your shoulders are back, your core is pulled in and you're touching it. Then bring your leg up. And you can feel the work's being done with your abs. And when we do a standing ab workout or a seated ab workout, this is what we do. Now, let all your muscles go again and do the same move. Can you see the difference? Can you feel that? So this is what we've got to do. And if we can train our bodies to be in this state, just when you think about it, just normally during the day, think, am I holding my core in? Because if you are, you're training it to be strong. And this is connected to this. So our spine, everything is going to benefit with us pulling in during the day. So try that again. Pull it in tight. Feel that. It really feels like you're doing something. You can still breathe and then let it go. Massive difference, massive. Okay, now we're going to move on to the glutes. So a lot of people find it difficult to really uh, know whether they're activating their glutes or not because they may not be used. And the goal is to use these muscles more than we use these muscles. And having strong glutes really helps with our knees. And that's the muscles that we need to be thinking about using when we're doing things like squats or, or our leg um, exercises or getting up off a chair. You know, use your glutes to squeeze up from the chair like that. And that's gonna take all of the pressure off your knees building strong muscles here. The perfect test to see whether your glutes are activated is by standing with your feet parallel and then squeezing your glutes. Squeeze them really hard. Can you feel something? Now, a lot of people can't feel anything because they haven't been using their glutes. So if you can't feel that, put your feet like this, duck's feet, and then squeeze. And can you feel a difference then? So put your feet parallel and squeeze. And then move your feet out and then squeeze. If you can feel more of a squeeze and a contraction with your feet out like this, that means that you need to do more work on developing those glute muscles and getting them strong because strong glutes and strong abs I think are so important. And I don't think this gets thought about enough. A lot of the younger women, all they work on is their glutes, but they work on it because, you know, booties are the thing. But I think as we're getting older, like strength and power is the thing. And that's why we need to work on our glutes. So when I say squeeze your glutes in all of my videos, that's what I mean. 
So let me know in the comments below if you could feel it any difference from parallel feet to feet sitting out wide because I think it's really important that you understand your body and if you can understand it, you can work with it. And that's what I love. So I really hope that those uh, explanations made sense to you. And I hope that if you can start activating your muscles as you do your workouts, that you can get faster results. Please give a thumbs up if you found this useful and share it with your friends. And if you've got some energy, why not do some cardio workout right now? Click on this playlist next and choose a walking workout to get you in a really good mood. And if you haven't done any stretching today, that's an everyday thing. So click on this playlist now and do some stretching and give your body some love. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I really enjoyed talking to you and I'll see you tomorrow.